Hey what is up guys this is uh, FNH here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can speed up your Chrome web browser. Alright so 2020 is coming along, Chrome has a bunch of new features and there are many new ways to update and speed up your browser from previous years. Okay, so I do have a 2019 one that I created, but in 2020, there's a bunch of new features that I want to show you specifically, you know, get into those and how to make those speed up uh, your browser. So, you know, you definitely take advantage of that. All right, so let's get straight into it. First thing you want to do is update Chrome. All right, so you always want to be using the latest version of Chrome. Okay, um, one mainly because security reasons, but aside from that, they also improve, um, you know, different bugs that are introduced in the previous versions, you know, and sometimes those bugs do affect the performance of the uh, browser overall. Okay, so you do want to keep um, your browser up to date for sure. So that's the first thing and that's really easy to do. You know, you can just go down here and then basically I think in settings and where is it? Hopefully I can find it. But basically there should be an option for updates and you should be able to update it um, automatically. Okay. So that's um, the first thing. All right. And number two, what you want to do is disable unwanted extensions. OK, so what you want to do is go to extensions so you can go to um, from here settings and then on the left hand side, click extensions or you can just go into browser type Chrome slash slash extensions. All right. So these are all the extensions that I have installed. I'm not even sure what half of these are. Um, I'm sure I downloaded them um, you know in the past but you know I, I don't I doubt I ever used them and I have a bunch of them you can see that some are disabled already so you can see this um, icon over here you can click it to disable it you know and uh, you know when, it, when it's blue that means it's enabled so you can see I have a bunch of them disabled okay so the point of having them disabled is that they're still on your system and you know, it's not like you're uninstalling it. It's just that they won't be loaded when you open the browser. Okay, so you know, maybe you want something, but you know, you don't use it that often. So you have to. So you know, you do use it from time to time, and you don't want to re-download it every single time. Um, you can use the disable button to disable it temporarily, and then re-enable it when you do want to use it. All right, so you can see all these that I have disabled. Um, you know, even some that I don't use that I have enabled okay so that's number two number three is plugins alright so plugins are similar to extensions so instead of writing extensions you can write plugins P O oh, P L U G I N S I believe is with an S um, Chrome slash slash plugins Huh, that's odd that it's not working, but you know, if that's not working, you can go from your bookmark apps and you can go to the web store or, or let's just show you from the settings how to get to that. So if you guys don't have um, Chrome slash slash plugins like I don't I, I have the latest version I believe in the latest version they did remove it but you know if you guys are using a slightly older version you probably will see it and over there there's just a few things that you would probably want to disable you know just one thing would be um, you know flash player make sure that's disabled I believe it's disabled on default now on all browsers so you know just make sure that's disabled and then there's also um, uh, let's say I think native client is another option that's there so you know you can disable that so you know those are just two things from Chrome slash plugins that you can delete unfortunately I don't have that anymore in the latest version they did remove it so I can't show you guys but if you do have it just disable those alright so the next thing we're gonna go to is Chrome slash slash flags okay so if you guys watched my previous year one, um, you know, this, 
should look familiar. There are many different flag options that you can change to improve performance, right? And I'm going to just get into some of them. All right. So the first one would be um, called smooth scrolling. So basically, this is this option speeds up Chrome by allowing it to close windows separate to any JavaScript code that, may, that might be running, right? So you want to basically find this, right? And um, basically, you can disable this one. Um, you know, or I um, okay, I believe you should enable it. Okay, so the default is, I believe it is enabled, but you want to just make sure it, it keeps it enabled. You know, there are some options where I've seen that it is disabled by default. So you want to just make sure that's enabled. Um, and basically this just gives like a smooth scrolling effect. So it doesn't seem like there's any lag or any delay while scrolling. All right, so that's one thing. Another thing is, um, is it here? Let's see fast tab no it's not so there's some options that I am going to mention that might not be here but they might be available for you um, I'm going to mention it anyways you know just make sure to check because you know different versions of Chrome um, do have it so I'm not sure what versions you guys have or when you'll what when you guys are uh, will be watching this so you know I'll just mention it um, anyway so one is called fast tab right and fast tab slash I believe close window right so that you want to make sure it's enabled right and that's basically um, also how it, it deals with the JavaScript that's running on uh, different tabs that aren't being used okay so another one is tab discarding I believe I don't have that either no so tab discarding so yeah that one basically um, when a tab is not being used after a certain amount of time or when it's not being used uh, Chrome will automatic and, and it and your machine needs memory Chrome will automatically disable that tab and use the memory from that tab into places where it does need uh, the memory okay so you know that's very useful you know it really helps the performance is that mainly helps the performance when the memory is really low on your machine right so you want to make sure to um, have that uh, enabled okay so the next thing is uh, experimental canvas features uh, let's just work Yep, that's not here either. So experimental canvas feature is basically when you load a page, right? And it basically effectively switches the browser's transparent canvas to an uh, opaque canvas, right? So, uh, you know, that uses less memory. So transparent canvases do use a lot more memory than the opaque one so to you you probably want to know the difference in most cases but you know it, it does make a difference in the background all right so let's do the number of threads number of I believe let's just do raster threads Okay, yeah, that's not here either, but basically um, you can increase the number of threads. I believe they put this somewhere else. I'm not really sure, but basically it's um, you can increase the number of raster threads that your machine is running. And, you know, that effectively speeds up image rendering um, in your browser. Okay, so that's basically just for images to load faster. All right, so you're basically just increasing the thread count right that um, is used to load an image so obviously the more threads you have the more faster it would load all right and you know depending on your machine um, <laughs> it could it, it will give you the um, I should say the uh, impression that it is being loaded faster but it's using more memory uh, internally but it will be loaded faster all right so th that's um, from the flag parts right and the last part what um well not the last but 
the next thing what you want to do is go to Chrome settings slash clear browser data alright so here you guys want to just go here and basically just you know you want to make sure to clear to delete the cached images and files cookies and other data uh, you can keep passwords and hosted app data so you can delete that as well um, autofill that's fine download history that's fine but basically if you don't need it it's better to just delete it but these three are the main things um, well not even this mostly these two um, are the main things that you know use up a lot of uh, memory and data or um, uh, well memory and also a hard drive disk so yeah you want to make sure those are clear um, just so they aren't getting in the way all right and last but not least is you want to make sure you are using Google's spyware and junk um, you're using their tool to detect spyware and junk all right so a lot of the issue a lot of the times I noticed that you know some people try this and it still didn't speed up their browser then the issue is most likely they have some kind of virus or malware or you know adware or something installed on their machine somewhere that really slows it down so you know you want to use some kind of uh, tool to basically um, take care of that okay so you can go to basically just Google Google's software removal tool right and basically from there you can um, go and it'll just tell you the steps on what to do so yeah that's basically it um, you know these are the new v features in 2020 that you know um, you can use to speed up your browser for specifically Chrome if you guys use Firefox um, make sure to check out my other video I will have that up soon but yeah other, if you like the video make sure to like it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys know when the new videos are up. Um, yeah, other than that, FNH out.